Hi guys. Hey guys. Back with another video. Try that. Hey. Yo, back with another video every hey. day. Every Tuesday and Friday. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the show. We drop. We drop. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. We don't always drop like horrible rap every time. <laughs> what do you mean horrible? That was amazing. That was good. Dr. Huh? Dre will sign me up. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Um, my name is Abby Salad. I'm Shay. And together we're the shows. The shows and the we shows. are back with another episode of couples therapy couples therapy we did one if you missed that one go watch it i'll link it up somewhere go watch that one and this is like you guys asked for part two so here we are with part two of couples therapy disclaimer after part one of couples therapy um we didn't have a few arguments we did not we, we didn't. We stop acting. Stop we adding. <laughs> stop adding drama, Joe. We didn't. Add, actually, you were going to say that your mom called you. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, my mom called me after the first part of couples therapy, and she was like, "Shaggy, if you question, will you be here? What kind of questions were you asking? Why are you talking about death and what if they cut your leg and this?" And I was like, "Yeah, no, it was just called." She was like, "No, no, no, no. Don't even say anything like that. You don't know which kind of angel is passing." So I hope you prepared better. So, Questions I prepared time. better questions this time. Good. No more death related questions. <laughs> so yeah, why don't we get into it? But before that, listen, my friend oh. Bill Kiss called me. She's like, hey, are you home? I have something for you. Look what she brought for us, you guys. Da, 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 da. Can you see that? A like bunch Chapman's. of, yeah, like the Chapman's drink. And I've not had this since like Ninja days. So we haven't opened it yet. I can't wait to try it. But I think what's more amazing for me is that our friends are doing amazing things. Like they're okay. starting businesses, they're killing it, they're crushing it. <laughs> yeah, so it's really cool. She and her husband have these drinks like supplied in a bunch of stores across the US. Right now they're mostly in the DMV area and in DC, Texas, Maryland, DC, Virginia, Maryland, Virginia, and Texas. And Texas, but they're expanding to the entire United States. But I'm gonna link, I'm gonna add in the description box like all of the places in these areas where you can get them. If you wanna try out the Chapman drink, we're gonna try it and let you get no, she even brought small chops too. Like, hey. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, this she hooked us up like big time. Let's try the drinks and, okay. and let people know is it cold? Oh, this mm. is cold. How's mm. the puff puff? What did you eat? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells like Ninja, yo, like Ninja party. Oh man, you're right. Oh, this is good. I drank half the bottle in one sitting. It's really good. This is good. It's like citrusy. It has this yeah. like... Okay, so imagine you take like um, either blood oranges or uh, grapefruit, right? No, different places, they call it different things. But then you mix it and then you carbonate it. And then, oh, Lord, but it's, it's good. It tastes... tastes Orangish, right? Orangish, Sprite-ish. But then it, it's like, it's not overpoweringly sweet. Yes. That's it's just like thing. light and refreshing. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't finish it. This is going to be a long conversation. Couples therapy. Okay. What's the first question for me? <laughs> My first question is, have you ever thought about walking away? For a reason. Walking away from like, what? Like, has a thought... From you? <laughs> when is it like... She... When is it like I've lost my mind? Has a thought ever crossed your mind? Like, maybe when we had an argument or something. I don't know. For what reason again? Okay. After all the sofa I suffered to marry you. The sofa I suffered for years to marry you. Mm. Then I'll walk away for what? Whatever that problem is, we are going to figure out the solution right there and then. That's impressive. Okay. I mean, I can't think of what will ever make me think of doing that. Okay. Your turn. That was a simple one. Okay. So, what do you really think about my bald spot? It's just, it's just, it's just what it is. How like does I, it make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anyway. I mean, it's just what it is. It's just like you've changed. I mean, your hair has changed and I actually like the bald look. <clears throat> like, I like it. Like, I don't like it when you don't cut your hair. 
and then it's like some part is this hair some part there's no hair but when you cut it sweet sharp fine let me ask you yeah so when i have my bald spot hair mm -hmm. does it make you feel like you're dating your grandpa or i don't something? even think about it <laughs> like it just i don't know i see you every day are you kidding me you think i'm like looking at your hair like okay. oh my god like okay it's just what it is you but i like the, i like the look now like yeah like i can't imagine you with like all hair like that would be weird okay so guys this look right here right you can see there's no hair anywhere guess who made guess who gave me my haircut she australia hey, for the first time my first in haircut. history she took the sharpest clipper in the world cut off my hair here and here <laughs> maybe cut off a little bit of my scalp Shane, but you, you know you play too much i thought you were trying to heal me but then you're okay, abusing heal me you, hey. listen let's question all right next question um how would you feel if i told you i was pregnant like right now uh yeah but jesus ain't nobody got time for that what do you mean <laughs> like the baby's already there's not there's you don't have a choice like the baby's already like are you pregnant with food or <laughs> <laughs> I'm not understanding. Where did the pregnancy come from? <laughs> from heaven. What sort of a question Who is, is the that? Father? You know how they ask in Nigerian movies. Who is the father? Shay, quickly. What kind of question is that? Yo, I'll be shook it, man. Um, if you told me you were pregnant, I'll be like, <gasps> that'll be my reaction first. So <sighs> you'll be unhappy about our baby? I'll be like shocked, like, whoa, okay, where is this coming from? <laughs> we were not even ready for this. Like our lives are totally changed. Our, our youngest kid is like four and a half or something. Okay, she's not 14, she's four. Going back into diapers, not sleeping at night. I don't know, um, how do I feel? Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I'll just have to rethink my life. Like, I feel like I'm done with kids. Well, having, you know, new kids. And kids are challenging. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's good to know how you feel. I don't want any. If you're planning something, please don't put me in the picture. <laughs> please, okay? let me eat my meat. Uh, hey, next question. Um, does it make you feel strange that I'm not six feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I ever thought about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I gotta swallow this. How does it make you feel that I'm not six feet tall? I think I only ever notice your height when we're dressed up and I'm wearing heels and I'm like, hold up, like, why am I taller than you? Or like, we're the same height when I wear heels. I'm usually like, like right here, like a little bit taller, like here. No, you're not. But I don't ever think, Oh my gosh, I wish you were like six feet tall. It's just babe, what it is. Babe, you've said it in the past that you wish I was taller so you can put your head on my chest. I never like said this. that. You said it, remember? No, you said that it. day we were in the bathroom and you were like, oh, babe, imagine if I was like this and your head was like this. Don't be put. And then here's what she said after that. Oh, that would be really nice. <laughs> like, I really like that. And so she made me stand on like a stool. You did it. So she didn't know. Oh my God. On my chest. You okay. <laughs> and for disclaimer, I'm five, nine and a half. When you wear heels, you're five nine, so I'm still point five inches, point uh, five of an inch taller than you. Okay? Can I speak now? No. I don't like how you're bringing issues where there are no issues, because I literally have never ever complained about your height, and you talked about it, and now you're spinning the story around. I no, don't like no, that. No. I do not appreciate that. Now, correct the story for the YouTube. Say it properly On how it happened. When she, I was trying to date her, she was like, well, you don't really meet the six feet criteria, but you meet everything. So, you know, I'll sacrifice. <laughs> if you're self-conscious about it, it's okay. You don't have to be self-conscious about it. It's fine. You two know who's telling the truth. <laughs> well, since you asked about your hair, I'm going to ask you about my hair. What do you really think about my hair? Okay. What is your favorite hairstyle that you like me to have? Like, ideally you know forgetting about my feelings like what is your ideal hairstyle that you would like me to to have if you know if i if i could just switch out my hair whenever I so want when to. i met you yeah you had like you had relaxed hair yeah and i was like oh beautiful like i love my hair it was very long like it was really nice right and then we got married and it's like shortly before our wedding you transition to the natural you know hairstyle and I was like, okay, um, this is so different. Like, oh, then 
I got used to the natural hairstyle and I was like, okay, I like it. Like, you know, it actually does look good when you did one after like this. I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay. And so like, I, had, I like your natural hairstyles. Sometimes you do one like this, you do one like that, <laughs> you do one like this, like different oh, things. Wow. And I was like, okay, awesome. And then she was like, I want to lock my hair. And I'm like, I'm the kind of person that I always hated dreadlocks, right? And I know this is not dreadlocks, right? But I hated the idea of locks. And so I was like, why? Eventually, when you locked it, I was like, oh. Then after a little bit, I was like, okay, it's not bad. You can just wake up, you can go swim with your hair, you can run, you can exercise. I was like, okay, that's not bad. It's functional, but also cute. But then you painted it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, she dyed her hair. And I was like, oh, that's pretty beautiful. So I like your hair. Um, I think I, I may not start out liking it, mm -hmm. but as I see it more, I like it more. Mm -hmm. So ideally, what hairstyle would you like me to have? Like if I were like, yeah. Shay, you pick your hairstyle and I'll go do it now. I mean, I can't answer that question. Mm -hmm. However, what I'll say is, I'd like to see you experiment with a different type of hairstyle. Politician, Lomo. Match me. <laughs> I don't mind putting my hair, actually. Hey, I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't, don't, don't. Because that's don't, don't, so don't easy. That. <laughs> nah, nah, not okay, at all. Okay, cool. What's your question? Okay, so what if none of my business ideas or startup ideas ever blow? right mm. and i forever continue to hustle how do you feel about that first i would not let you to forever continue to hustle i think at some point like you have to put a cap like at some point if you keep what's the thing you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results right we have to say okay there's no route here let's just kind of mm -hmm. you know so i don't think i'll let you to continue to forever hustle i think we'll have to pivot to something else um, but it'll be okay. I think the most important thing is like, I mean, if you're not enjoying the process and learning from the process, then it's a waste. But I think the most important, he has put meat on my white shirt. He don't put the whole stewed meat on my white shirt. <laughs> anyway, I think the whole point is like you learning from the process and gosh, like to be honest, a lot of the things that you've learned from your startup, you have brought into our Mm. content creation world like it's not been a waste um and yeah it's just it's part of your story so i don't think that i would say oh my god like you've wasted x number of years i think it's just part of your story it's part of who you are mm. and we're gonna evolve we're mm. not gonna keep doing the same thing we're gonna evolve into whatever happens next so yeah get yourself a good woman guys what did you think about my fashion sense when we got married versus now? Oh, what did I think about it? I mean, I thought you were you were practical when we got married. <laughs> like Shay was very practical. He had his five shirts for work, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe a couple extra for Sundays that he can rotate on Sundays or whatever. But he was, that's how practical he was. If he has a black polo, he's not buying no other black polo. Like if you tell him, oh, she, I saw this shirt, I think about it, he'd be like, oh, I didn't have a black polo. Like that's how practical he is. So you'd have thought that this guy was literally a poor guy. Like if you look at his closet, it's like this much and it's like two shoes, black, brown. <laughs> that was it, like that was it. And the guy, he was working, he had his money. <laughs> but I mean, I didn't think much about it. I'm also, I'm mostly practical, at least then. I also think I was. Let me finish, let me finish. So I didn't think much about it. Like I just thought your style was simple and practical. That was it. So okay. now. So there's practical and looking good. And then there's practical and like, oof. I would say it was practical and basic. So it wasn't like, ex <laughs> it wasn't like exceptionally um, stylish. Like there was nothing, you she's know. Saying, she's saying it wasn't stylish. It was just borderline not crap. I didn't say that. It wasn't crap. Like you had good shirts. Like if it was crap, I would have changed it out for you. I remember even buying, like, remember I bought you, like, um, I ordered all these like UK shirts one time <laughs> for your birthday. Like now knowing she, I'm sure he's just like, I don't need this. <laughs> like, yeah, when you got that, I was like, okay, nice. Um, I guess I can be wearing it, but... Why? I already have shirts. Yeah. This is more expensive. It's probably three times the price when you can get what yeah. I'm wearing. I mean, you know, That's that was then. That's why it's so okay, hard so to buy now? gifts for you because, like, Jay's just like, okay, like, I mean, okay. I don't need it. So what okay, do you think now, about my style now? It's been a journey. <laughs> it's been 
a journey because I don't also consider myself as a like fashionista or a stylish person. I just wear what makes me feel good and what makes me happy. I don't really care what people think. As long as I feel like I look good in it, I wear it. Um, so I, I couldn't really help you to be like more stylish. Why are you blinking your eyes? I'm listening. So I think now we've evolved. I think now you look a lot more put together. Um, I mean, like your pants are actually fitted. Like that's major. Like oh, I tried no. to get Shay to wear fitted pants in the past, and he's just like it's uncomfortable, and he just didn't. Like so, he just would wear like big pants. Imagine this was my leg. Like maybe the two fingers were my leg. My pants would be like this. Yeah, he's just like I'm not comfortable. Like what's the point? And he just yeah. wouldn't wear it. Even his shirt, it's like you buy like a large like okay it's enough oh, like let's sorry, move you on ask ah, me now clearly see how she's talking now compared to then you can tell like she didn't really like my sense but uh, my i liked it, it was, but, it's, uh, again we've evolved is what mm. i would say like i mean i've evolved with my clothes like the clothes i wore then is not what i wear today either like but people still look good change in them, well thank you you look good in them as well i mean i was attracted to you so there obviously was something for this next segment of our therapy why don't we talk about things that we do that we don't like so things that you do that i don't like and then we can kind of talk through it and vice versa but oh. please be nice okay oh. i'll be nice but please be nice okay um it's not coming from the 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 viewpoint of like attacking the other person it's just so we can kind of talk through it okay so for those that know what this word means prenup like when you i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding no divorce needed for this. Okay. okay so what is one thing that i do god i don't even know if i'm ready for this just be nice are you sure you want okay you go tell first. me no you tell me okay so i'll say for this one it's like sometimes when i'm talking to you right you're doing so many other things and you're just walking away <laughs> you're on your phone you're doing other things and I'm the kind of person that, I know it's weird, but I'm the kind of person like, when I'm talking to a person, I like to see their eyes. Uju Laroa. Exactly, Uju Laroa. I like, the, it's in your eyes that the talk is there, <laughs> right? Like, okay. That was a terrible translation. I mean, it's a literal translation, okay? Yeah. But like, and so I'm the kind of person, so for example, when I'm at work meetings and I have coworkers, we're all just discussing things. We're looking at each other, we're thrashing out ideas. Okay. And so many times I come to you and I'm like, hey babe blah, 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 and then you walk away to the closet <laughs> to do something i'm like what i'm talking to you why are you going away I'm like no i'm listening i just i'm doing other things at the same time and i'm like no you're not paying enough attention like how like but i i mean i've come to hear and understand that you're not being rude or you're not just ignoring me but it's like oh man when we first got married that needs to choke me in my heart so okay can i speak now no all right fine i mean of course i'll try not to do that again so here's how it usually happens <laughs> is like okay let me give an example okay like yesterday this happened right and then she was trying to give me gist of like a couple and like um i was like smack in the middle of watching a video and it was like at the cliffhanger like i was about to know what happened to so this couple i was watching on the youtube and guess what she was like so babe and so I paused the show and I'm like, yeah, thinking is just like something real quick. So he starts telling me the story and I'm like, I want to know what happened to your couple so I can find out what happened to my couple. And he goes on, the, the, the story was long. And I'm like, babe, so what happened? Did they end up together or not? Like, I want to know. And he's like, you know what? Never mind. No. Why do you do this? You're no, rushing no, no. me. And I was just like... No, it wasn't even never mind. No, it wasn't... It wasn't... Did they end up together? It was something else he said. It was something like... I was uh, like, so no. what? I was yeah, like, so was what like, happened? Okay, so, like, and so... so and, then, and it's like, no... I I'm, get it. Trust wait, me. That's it. That's... You see, even... I know. You even, you even said the number two thing you do. Because number one thing was that you're walking away. You're not looking at my eyes. This one, number two is you're rushing me. You're like, okay, and then move on, move on, carry on, carry on. And I'm like, come on. See, you casted yourself. I was okay. talking of number one. It's all together. I know. I already know this. Like, it's all together. I'm going to... I'm praying to the Lord for more patience. Um, but I also think like... I also wanted to know what was happening in my show. Do you understand that I paused my show to hear so your story? So here's how I would have handled it. Okay. I'd have been like, babe, give me a minute. Let me finish this. 
or babe I'm but when i say that what do you usually say actually when you say give me a minute i give you a minute but your minute takes five minutes that's the problem <laughs> Nah, you don't say that. Like when I'm like, see, now we're going on a rant on YouTube. Oh, just hold on, we are coming. Just hold. <laughs> no, like when I'm like, I'm like, oh, one second, and you're like, oh, you never have time. Like every time I'm, I want to discuss, like you're like, no, no, that happens when we're actually having very serious conversations. Like sometimes, like I must... bring you when I'm watching something. No, online. no, not really. Many times, I ask you conversations about very important things, and mm -hmm. you're like, this is not a good time. I'm tired, mm -hmm. or this, or I'm busy right now when I'm done, and then it's like. After like three, four, five days, we still uh, haven't had. No, now you're exaggerating. No, I'm actually serious. We still haven't had that conversation. And then at some point, I'm like, "But babe, we really do need to have this conversation." And I'm like, "Okay." She drops her phone. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, "I gotta have a conversation with you when you're like." Hmm. So that's number three thing. I was talking of number one. You brought number two at number three yourself. You see. I would, I would be more patient, but I feel like you exaggerated by saying three, four, five days and saying that that's actually true. But I hear you. Okay, but the number one thing I'd say is I will try to keep my conversations to the low because I know that I always come up with the random things at random times of the day, sometimes 4 a.m., sometimes 9, 11 p.m. It does not stop. And yes, it doesn't stop. It does not stop. <laughs> okay, so I'll be mindful of that, but you also, like, when I'm talking, like, Oh, you Loro, wow. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Oh, okay. All right. What's uh one thing I do that you don't like? One thing you do. Actually, there are two things I just thought about. Okay. <laughs> okay. One thing. Which one should I pick? Um. I think the one that actually troubles me the most is I worry about you a lot. Like when you're driving, because I feel like you get distracted very easily. Um, I know you're a great driver, but the other people on the road are not necessarily great drivers. And like, let me tell you, my husband, he'll be like, I'm like, babe, are you texting and driving? He's like, no, it's speech to text I was using. Here's how she does it. The people that created speech to text, it's supposed to be like, oh, someone texts you something real important. Like, hey, are you on your way? You do speech to text, but um, yes, but um, you send, you know, that's it. She is on speech to text. He is having, a full-blown meeting through text message his business partners okay so tell the developers comma that when they get there the pivot station of the da -da 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 -da, and so 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 so, so they should apply the this to the technical situation da -da -da, comma period sent he will not wait for the person to reply he will not be reading it as he's driving he will not press the speech again <laughs> so he will not continue the conversation and i'm literally there like Oh my God, this was not the intent of speech to text. It is a full blown, he is editing paragraphs in his speech to text. Yo, why are you putting me on YouTube like that? I'm just saying, like, that's the one thing that scares me the most. Like, the fact that I feel like you get distracted pretty easily. All right, fine. This is real couples therapy, guys. Real <laughs> one. Clearly, that makes us very, very concerned. So yes, very concerned. I'll is the take word. precautions Thank moving you. forward. I appreciate that. Anything else? Anything else? There's this one thing you do. You sometimes do, and it really, really aggravates. Ha, me. Jesus. Aggravates. What? I want to take this opportunity back. No, I'm actually serious. Okay, you really need to think it? about it. It's like this. Many times you come and you're like, man, I don't like my backside or I don't like my upper side or I don't like my legs. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? I love everything about you. You actually have an amazing figure. Like your figure is one of the things that drew me to you. And you've maintained that figure. I mean, put on a quite a few pounds here and there in a good way, but you've maintained your figure like so long. And I'm like, I like it. So what's the problem? Why don't you like it? When you wear clothes, I love them on you. When you turn like this, I love it. Do you know how many people want what you have? And you're like, well, I wish I had more like, I don't know, muscles in my leg or something like that. And I'm like, who cares? Why you're amazing. Okay, can I respond now? I no, think but you know you context, do that, right? I think the context to which these conversations happen is where when you're like, oh, why don't you buy this kind of clothes? Or why don't you wear this kind of clothes? And I'm like, it does not look good on my body type and you look at me like what's the difference between you and the person who's wearing the clothes like the other person who you're looking at and i'm like i don't have their body like you know 
Yeah. That that certainly happens. But then there are some times that you stand in front of the mirror. And then you make those comments, maybe once really? or twice at least. Yeah, I don't think you realize, hmm. but maybe once or twice you've made that comment in front of the mirror. And I tell you that, no, you're like to die for. Like our Victoria's Secret models, <laughs> all of them, they want to be like you. Eh? Okay, I would so, not talk down about, I mean, I'm grateful to God, trust me, like, how do I put it? Like, I'm grateful to God for my body yeah i guess i do i do talk yeah whatever um yeah. <laughs> so promise me you're not going to say that anymore right it depends on what i put like i'm not complaining about my body like sometimes i just wear something and i'm like this doesn't look good on me and then you think i hate my body because i i make those comments like i don't hate my body i just don't think everything flatters me <laughs> i will drink my chapman and i'll keep quiet i mean i'll be more conscious of it okay so don't talk down about, or don't talk about what you wish you had in a way that sounds like you're not Got happy you. with about Got what you, you. have. Okay, I guess I do say that, yeah, okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay. It's okay, I still love you <laughs> I still love you. All right, I guess I will say my second thing and then we can end this video because geez, I don't like this, this is too, this is too tense, this is too much, okay. So my own thing, oh, you're crushing my hand, okay. My second thing would be about Fiji's hair. Yes. If I leave you, his hair would only be cut like once a year, Christmas. That's it. Even Christmas, Christmas would have passed before you would now be like, ah, wait till so tomorrow is Christmas. We should cut your hair. That's it. <clears throat> and that, it, it, it just like, it stresses me out. And I know technically I can take it on, but it has taken everything in me to fight taking that on. Everything in me. And the reason I say that is because Mimi's hair, our daughter's hair, is a handful and a half. Like, there's been times where I've done Mimi's hair and I literally, literally, I shed a tear. Because she does not want anyone to touch her hair. And she doesn't want to see a comb coming near her hair. So imagine, and she has a full head of hair, like, and I'm like, imagine trying to get that hair to look proper, to go to school. So I, I literally, it's very frustrating trying to do her hair. And then I'm done dealing with her hair for hours. And I'm like, all you gotta do is take him to the barber. Like literally. And the hair just like grows out. It's tangled. It's not combed. Even like, if you don't, if you don't okay. cut his hair. Okay, sorry. <laughs> wow. Well, so anyway, okay. yeah, there's that. And I, it's not like I'm not reminding you. It's like I literally remind you every day. I'm like, oh, it would be nice if you could take him. All right, guys. So the Koi Chapman, and it's um, it's very great with spice. Anyway, that's my own shot. <laughs> okay, no, for you. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I think the challenge with me and his hair is kind of the same thing with me and my hair, where many times I just forget about my hair. That I have a little bit of hair on my head. And it's like this part is not there or this part is here or even when i used to have hair i will i'll go out without combing my hair like i probably didn't pay attention to physical appearance for the longest time and so i think when she's like oh cut his hair to me i'm like oh yeah sure that's fine it's not too bad um okay i'll take it out at some point but i i get it hmm. i get it i get where you're coming from too i remember when I remember when we first got married and we would get in the car, like I would take my time, you know, do my hair, my makeup, put on my clothes and we'll get in the car. She would just pick up the keys and get in the car and then he'll get in the car and he'd be like, ah, shiggy. That was what he used to say, ah, shiggy. I forgot to comb my hair. This was when he had hair. I forgot to comb my, I forgot to brush my hair. When he had hair. Yeah, yeah, that's fine now. He was, he was like, I forgot to comb my hair. I forgot to brush my hair. And I'm like, babe, you didn't even look in the mirror before you left home. He's like, no. Like that's just not even a thing. Like he doesn't look in the mirror. He just puts on the, he's saying, okay, blue goes with black pants. He'll put it together and he'll just head out of the house. So I totally get where you're coming from, but I, we kind of have to change it because like that, that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yo, this has been heated, man. <laughs> let's, we have to end it here. Let's, ask, we end it? let's end it no, with something no, nice. No, let's ask different questions. Nice questions. Let's, okay. let's end it with something one thing you love about me and one thing i love about you that's easy just one thing you start okay one thing i love about you um oh there are plenty but let me see which one i want to pick i think maybe appreciate about you is the fact that you're very hands-on 
like when she when we go out like remember when we go out with like all the other cousins and stuff like yeah. she is the one that will make sure like the kids have a blast like he's like oh you didn't take them on that ride oh yeah everybody come let's go like he's very hands-on oh the kids have not eaten i'm gonna go get them something well, not even just with the kids but at home this needs to be done like he doesn't hesitate like just i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and it's just a relief sometimes i'm like oh let me come downstairs and take care of something and by the time i get there like i find it's already done and it's just like yeah that's that's pretty dope super daddy super uncle the kids very <laughs> uncle okay 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 i like that okay good i like that we're ending on a positive note because honestly i would have been calling my lawyer that uh <laughs> i better go and sit down okay so what's yours what do i like about you one thing i like about you mm -hmm. i like that you really think for us i say i know it sounds weird but like my mind is many times not in the things of like life like i'm thinking about business i'm thinking about like one thing or the other and then she has thought about okay what are we going to eat she mm -hmm. has bought the kids clothes for the year she has planned their outfit for the week in their head she has cooked all the food that we're going to eat in the house like you've done you would have done so many different things i don't think about it like oh let me buy them new sets of clothes or new shoes because they're about to their shoe size is you know mm -hmm. almost gone like they're they've grown and you think about all those things that mm. it's just my i just don't so see i'm kind of like the the program manager of the house yeah project <laughs> manager program manager scrum master oh wow feature. okay so i really do love that about you because honestly like my life was kind of before you it was simple it was just you it's more it's more complicated it was just a team of one okay this has been a long conversation yeah, man ah painful like scary but it was nice well, thank you guys for watching i hope this was as interesting as the first one um, um one don't ask for part three because that's not happening <laughs> one suggestion if you guys are going to do this couples therapy and you're going to talk about things that you don't like about the other person just um suggestion just do it after maybe you've had a really great time with each other and you've just confessed your vows that you'll be forever <laughs> together because there may be a chance that there will be quite some uh, no i don't think you should phrase it as things i don't like about my spouse i would say like things i would like you to areas of improvement how do they say that work opportunities for opportunities yeah <laughs> opportunities of improvement or whatever i don't know but yeah just kind of phrase it as like these are the things that maybe are on my mind that i would like you to think about um and say it in love like don't say it like you're attacking the person it's not an attack on the person it's just like at some point they have to know like these are the things that i think about and would like you to potentially improve on so and then sandwich it with love before and love after so you've given me the love before there's only the love after i already gave how many loving mm. <laughs> anyway um hope you guys enjoyed watching until the next time Peace.